we're going to start working towards a point where we can factorise a difference of two squares. We've already discussed a little bit about what factorising is, but let's just remind ourselves. We can be given something like this and we get asked to multiply it out. This is what we're very used to doing. We multiply out and we get x squared minus 9. But we could start with x squared minus 9 and then be asked to work it back to this form. And when we do that, we talk about that we are factorizing. And when we head towards factorizing, what we're really going to be doing is reversing what we did with multiply out. So if we started over here, how would we know what to go here? Well, we'd have to recognize x squared minus 9. We know that pattern. It comes from an x minus something, x plus something pattern. And how do we know what the something is? Well, we said 3 times 3 to get 9. So basically what we've got to do is go backwards and say, well, what times what will give me 9 and get the answer of 3? Let me show you a little bit of what I mean. Imagine I started with x squared minus 16 and I asked you to factorize it. Then what I'd be asking is for you to get it in the form x minus something, x plus something. What is that something going to be? Well, we know that when we multiply out, it would be this times this must give you 16 and it must be the same thing. And so we know what times what gives you 16. It's the square root of 16, which is 4. So the reason I've put this little table on the side is it's going to be very helpful if you know this table really well. Because then if you see x squared minus 81, for example, you'll immediately know that it was x minus 9, x plus 9. Now let's have a look at a monster like this we might want to multiply out. We recognize immediately we've got the plus, the minus, and everything else is the same. So we know we're going to be in a situation where our answer is going to be 4x to the 8 squared minus 3y cubed squared. Now let's watch what happens when we square. When we square, we've got 4 times 4, which is 16. And then we've got x to the 8 multiplied by x to the 8. And so we're going to get x to the 8 plus 8, right? So we're going to get x to the 16. And here we're going to have 3 times 3, which is 9. And y cubed squared just means you've got y cubed multiplied by y cubed. So you've got three y's multiplied together, another three y's multiplied together. In total, you've got 3 plus 3, which is 6 y's. Now, why am I making such a big fuss of that multiplying out? Because where we're heading to is I want us to be able to factorize this. So I want us to get to a position where we can then say, where did this come from? It came from something minus something, and then the same thing plus something. And to figure that out, we know we've got to take the square root. So basically what we're asking ourselves here is, to find out what goes here, I need to know what multiplied by itself will give me 16x to the 16. Well, we know that 4 times 4 gives me 16, so there's definitely a 4. And then for our x's, we have to in total end up with 16 x's, so in each place here we've got to have 8 x's. And similarly, for figuring out what goes over here, I'm asking myself what multiplied by itself will get me to 9y to the 6. The numbers is, are easy. Nine, 3 times 3 gets me to 9. How many y's? Well, in total, I want to have 6 y's multiplied together. So I need 3 here and 3 here, which means the fully factorized form is this.